Are you a filmmaker? Producer? Director? My vision, my ideology into motion picture. Actor? Screenplay writer? Are you an aspiring filmmaker? Looking to start a career in the movie industry? Do you want to see what happens behind the scenes when you're looking at those movies in your local cinema? Take 101 will take you on a journey of the filmmaking process from concept to reality, from idea to motion picture. Take 101 will bring you, the industry professionals, and take you through the A to Z of the filmmaking process. Lucien Morgan on Take 101. Are you looking to produce documentaries, adverts, trailers, jingles, promos? Benelux Media will take care of your production line. Contact Benelux Media on 0207 998 0930. That's 0207 998 0930. Or we can be viewed on the website at www benelexmedia.com you can email us at studio at benelexmedia.com and bear in mind you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube on Benelex Media. On today's show, it's all about how to distribute your film. So, you finished your film, your trailer is out, and everybody's wondering where's that invite to the private screening or premiere of your movie. For a first time filmmaker, director or producer, when you've just made your film, you've shot it, you've edited it, it's all wonderful, it's all goodness. The next step is now distribution. Now the factors you should consider when you're distributing is A, what is your target market? Who's your film aimed at? B, where would you like to distribute? So it, could it be DVD? Could it be VOD, video on demand? Could it be a theatrical release, the cinemas, the theatres? Or would you like to make it available for online retailers? We've got iTunes, we've got YouTube, now have a paying for service. And we've got various video higher sites, Netflix, that you, you would want to put your film on. And once you've established that, the third thing is now looking at how much money do you actually have to distribute your film. So let's break it down a little bit more. So A, what's your target market? If you've made a horror film, there's no point putting posters and billboards outside a primary school because you're just going to scare those kids out of education. And well, before the world is going, we need them with their qualifications, don't we? So make sure your target market is right initially. Make sure you're reaching out to where your people are. If you go to the distributors or the sales agent and no one's interested, they're all the same. It's not like one will say, we love your film and the other hates it. They all love the same things. They've all worked in the same businesses. They've worked in the same companies. So there's probably in England five, sales, five different sales age companies and they've all worked in the same companies and through. The Hollywood players will not take on an independent movie generally speaking it would unless they're already behind it so you really have to see think where am I, is it going to be a festival film a smaller festival that you could get into the festivals and promote your film that way um it's obviously i would recommend for a smaller filmmaker independent that would be the way you could go so you should now be ready to put in a little bit of extra work to possibly promote and sell your movie
Are you a filmmaker? Producer? Director? My vision, my ideology into motion picture. Actor? Screenplay writer? Are you an aspiring filmmaker? Looking to start a career in the movie industry? Do you want to see what happens behind the scenes when you're looking at those movies in your local cinema? Take 101 will take you on a journey of the filmmaking process from concept to reality, from idea to motion picture. Take 101 will bring you, the industry professionals, and take you through the A to Z of the filmmaking process. Lucille Morgan on Take 101. Now, choosing the type of distribution can be the difference between you being a major success and you failing to get to where you, you want to go. One thing I will say is you just have to be realistic. Be true to yourself as a filmmaker. Look at your film. I mean, you're not yet Steven Spielberg, you're not yet Ridley Scott. So what are the chances that you'll be able to get a theoretical distribution deal? And that's where you have to take a step back and say, well, what's the next best thing to that? You've still got DVD. DVDs are still, well, they're still, they're still in fashion. They're still quite popular, actually. A lot of people like DVD because of the new Blu-ray feature. So when you're considering distribution, that's another thing to bear in mind. Why not get your DVDs upskilled or, or get them on that technology level of Blu-ray which will attract more attention and which will add an extra layer of high definition to your film. And after that, you've now got video on demand. The only issue with video on demand is people are paying your film online to watch it or they're paying to download it. Now, video on demand has been known to attract high levels of piracy. So in some cases, one person could download your film and pay whatever price you're charging for it and in essence that person can then distribute the film on various blogs and sites on the internet without your prior permission but that's always something that you can work on by making sure that the digital files that you release on video on demand have got security chips attached to them or all sorts of technology really and then the third point being how much money do you have it's quite important to distribute, you need money. So if you haven't got a huge distribution budget, that can actually limit how much you're gonna go for. What's the point of making your film if it ends up in the loft or down in the old cabinet in grandma's bedroom? I mean, if you put a, if you just put a, well, obviously you can, if you do DVDs, you can have a copyright protected. I mean, you can have the actual, when it's pressed, you can have protection software that helps stop the average bloke just doing it or streaming it. Um, obviously, if you put it online, you've had, you, you really can't put it online unless it's through a proper online site that it can't be downloaded or copied or anything, it only can be streamed if that's the way you want to protect it. Um, there's always somebody that's going to have a DVD or put it out there and that's, uh, I don't know how you, you need to make sure that you've made your money or done what you can promoting your movie before it, it, it goes into the ether. Now, you must know how to go about distributing your movie before you even get to the pre-production phase, let alone production, otherwise grandma won't be happy. Okay, feature film distribution, the best platforms for feature film distribution, in my opinion, would be a theoretical distribution or a video on demand distribution. The main reason for that being 
a lot of people actually enjoy going out to cinemas. It's going to the cinema is more than just something that lovers do. Some people, friends say, let's go out, it's our day out. Yeah, we're gonna go wild, go to the cinema, you know, just make a day out of it. So going to the cinema for some people is more of a ritual. Some see it as a way to relieve stress. And some people are just cinema addicts. So they will go to the cinema and watch anything. There are films that have made money, which may not be as good as other films. But the reason they have made money is they've got well wishes who just come to watch any other film. Are you a filmmaker? Producer? Director? I vision my ideology into motion picture. Actor? Screenplay writer? Are you an aspiring filmmaker? Looking to start a career in the movie industry? Do you want to see what happens behind the scenes when you're looking at those movies in your local cinema? Take 101 will take you on a journey of the filmmaking process from concept to reality, from idea to motion picture. Take 101 will bring you, the industry professionals, and take you through the A to Z of the filmmaking process. Lucille Morgan on Take 101. Very, it's, it's actually quite easy because you you see what the sales agents have sold before. If it's a similar product to yours, if, if it's the specialized, I don't know, a simple answer, they specialize in horror or they specialize in comedy or they specialize in foreign films, at least you, you've got something in, sim, in, um, sorry, something in common with them that will help you, they understand your market more. You know, it's no point you doing a, a foreign film in a foreign language and trying to get to give it to somebody that only does Hollywood action. I mean, they're not going to be interested. You need sympathy and understanding of your product. Well, they could, you have to be very careful because a lot of them will say, okay, we'll sell your film and they go to Cannes and stay in a five-star hotel and, you know, have the Bentley picking them out the front and they send you the bill. And so that's what you have to be really care, careful about. Um, sales agents that they, they can say, well, we'll do all this there, but it's going to cost you. We'll need to put it in here and there. And you get a, not that it's happened to me, but I have heard it happen quite often. You now want to show the world all the hard work you've done, the time it's taken, and the money you've spent to make this movie. Okay, a film market is basically based on your target market. So when we talk about a film market, we relate to the different markets that are available in film. Now, if you want to understand the real depth of a film market, when you're making your film, you have to understand your target market. So if you're making a horror film, your film market is going to be on the more, you're now looking towards the more high end part of the film market which is looking at people with interest in horror, thrillers, and that sort of thing. Whereas if you've made a more dramatic film, you now know when you're gonna be concentrating more on the middle-aged family films, films that anyone can watch, and you also be appealing to the younger generation as a whole.
Okay, I mean, in terms of distribution for my last film, I would say that everything went quite okay. It could have been better, um, but in the end, we had to settle with a DVD distribution and a video on demand distribution. And the reason for this being, like I mentioned earlier, when you're distributing, always know your limits, always know just how far your film can go. Next time on Take One and One, we look at the second part on tips and techniques on how to manage your film distribution. Now, as you may already know, making a movie is not rocket science. All it takes is courage and enthusiasm. Join us again on Take 101 to get to the A to Z of filmmaking. Are you a filmmaker, producer, director? My vision, my ideology into motion picture. Actor, screenplay writer? Are you an aspiring filmmaker looking to start a career in the movie industry? Do you want to see what happens behind the scenes when you're looking at those movies in your local cinema? Take 101 will take you on a journey of the filmmaking process from concept to reality, from idea to motion picture. Take 101 will bring you the industry professionals and take you through the A to Z of the filmmaking process. Lucille Morgan on Take 101.